the link where my CSS file is, okay, is right here. That's the, that's the address. That's the file. Fact is, at this time of day, about an hour after school, most of their friends are at home playing video games. But not these kids. They're learning to design their own. And Lemuel, that was an excellent question. Look around this classroom, you probably notice all the students are African American. It's like literally like on my computer. In this middle class, racially mixed neighborhood, Give me five. a class of black kids learning how to code is unusual. All right, good. Just wanted to check in with you. So here's what I do need. But they're here thanks to the man sitting quietly in the corner. Jason Young grew up in two of LA's most notorious neighborhoods, Inglewood and Compton. My father was a drug dealer who spent most of his adult life in jail. That didn't stop him from getting scholarships to prestigious schools, and he ended up working in the tech sector. I noticed that there was a lot of opportunity that was being created, but there were certain groups, particularly young black men, that were being left out. Hence, the Hidden Genius Project. We want to format the code, okay? Remember we talked about indentation? It teaches young black teens coding and web design. I have a computer right here that somebody can use. Thank you. It runs on donations, so students have to make do with rundown computers. If you don't have your personal machine, at least four of your brothers do. So kindly ask your brother, brother, please can I access my code from your computer? Students who own laptops share. And I'm just helping him out with it. He's being, he's being a huge distraction, actually. What am I doing? He keeps chewing his chips really oh my God. <laughs> Despite the challenges, the two-year-old program already boasts success stories. Who knows what those are? Besides George. George Hofstetter, at 16, already a veteran of several tech company internships. You can always be like, hey, I'm a student. I'm looking for an internship. I'm really interested in your company or whatever. Thanks to what he learned here, he's now getting paid to help several local businesses with their web design. But he feels to succeed, being a good coder may not be enough. Race is a very big barrier, especially for an African-American teenager wanting to pursue a tech career. That's why the Hidden Genius Project also focuses on networking. Sometimes I get a resume, sometimes I get um, a CV. Young says it's another area in which black people in technology fall behind because typically those in IT hire from within their own networks. Actually, it's not individual racism, but it's more structural racism, which is that um, you, they're simply not in the networks. People recruit people from their networks. So if no one who looks like you is in that network, you simply don't get the opportunities. But these students are learning to hack around that barrier. Coding is a good way to start your own business so you can become your own entrepreneur and don't have to rely on someone else for a job. They said it at Yelp. George Hofstetter's goal, tech company CEO. But my dream is to change the world's perspective on race. Hmm. That's a pretty big dream. Yes, it is. I believe it can be accomplished uh, by using technology. Typical, isn't it, for this generation? Hoping to solve the world's most intractable problems with code. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Oakland.